let's create this ice cube tray in the Autodesk Fusion. In this video, you will learn how to use the features Sketch, Extrude, Taper Angle, Rectangular Pattern, Fillet and Shell. So open your Fusion and let's go. The first step to create this ice cube tray, we will select the top plane and make this rectangle here with 8 millimeters by 196 millimeters. So open the fusion, go to create a sketch, select the top plane, select the two point rectangle, and select the center rectangle. Click here at the midpoint. Make a rectangle here, 8 millimeters by 196 millimeters. Press OK. We have this, okay. Finish the sketch. We need to extrude this. We will extrude this 25 millimeters and add a taper angle with 6 millimeters, 6 degrees, sorry. We need to remove this angle here, okay? 6 degrees here in the both sides and in this side too. So to make this, we use the taper angle. So go to extrude. The distance here minus 25 millimeters and the taper angle minus 6 millimeters and press OK. We have this angle here. Let me rotate this. We have the angle here, okay? Now let's create this sketch here in the right plane, okay? So here, the distance between this arc here the center of this arc and the midpoint here is 70 millimeters, okay? And this arc has 1 millimeter of radius. And the distance between the center of this arc and this point here, this edge, is 4 millimeters, okay? So let's create this. Go to create a sketch, select the right plane. Go to create, select the arc, 3 point arc. Let me hide this bar here. Make an arc here, okay. Go to sketch dimension. The radius here, one millimeters. The distance between the center and the midpoint here, 70 millimeters. And the distance between the center here. And this point here is four millimeters, okay. Now let's create a construction line here. And we have two lines here with six degrees of distance here. So let's create this. Select line, construction line. Click here in this point, make a construction line here with 30 millimeters of length, okay. Now select the line again, remove the construction line type. Click here at the arc and make a line here. Make this sketch, okay? Go to sketch dimension. The angle here, three degrees, and the angle between the two lines, six degrees. We have this. Now go to constraint, select the tangent, make this arc tangent with the both lines, okay? And go to constraint again, select horizontal vertical, select this point and this point here. We made this. Okay, go finish the sketch and go to extract, select this profile, show the body one here, the direction here, select symmetric, the extended type, select all, operation cut, press OK. We made this cut here. So now we need to repeat this at 28 millimeters, okay? So let's create, we have six cut here and the distance between them is 28 millimeters. To make this, we'll use the rectangular pattern. Go to create and select the ret pattern, rectangular pattern, or you select here, rectangular pattern. The object type, select the features, the object, select this cut here, select this cut, and the axis, select this axis here. 
let me move here a little bit the distribution here select the spacing the quantity select the six and the distance between the this cut is minus 28 millimeters and press ok we made this okay now we needed to create the same but in this side here to make this cut okay here we have this cat we have a arc here the radius one millimeters the distance between the center of this arc and this edge is four millimeters and the angle between this two line here six degrees okay so go to create a sketch select the front plane i will hide this body one like the line construction line make a construction line here with 30 millimeters go to create select the arc three point arc make an arc here remove the construction line type here okay go to sky dimension the distance between the center of this arc and this point is four millimeters the radius here is one millimeters okay go to constraint select horizontal vertical select the center of this arc and this point here the midpoint okay now select the line click at this point here remove the construction line type and make this sketch okay go to constraint select the tangent select this arc this line this arc and this line here now go to sketch dimension the angle here three degrees and the angle between these two line here six degrees okay and go to constraint again select horizontal vertical select this point and this point here we made this okay finish the sketch go to extract show the body one the direction here is symmetric the extended type select all operation cut press ok we made this okay now we need to add a fillet in this edge here and these four edges okay the fillet here has a uh, 10 millimeters of radius so go to fillet the type here select the fillet select this edge here the fillet here is 10 millimeters of radius press ok we made this now in the bottom the radius is two millimeters of radius the fillet okay in the other edge here the fillet is two millimeters of radius so go to fillet rotate this a little bit select the other bottom face here the fillet here is two millimeters and add selection set select all these inside the faces here the fillet here is two millimeters now add selection set and select this face here and select this face here the fillet here is two millimeters and press ok we made this ok now the thickness of this ice cube tray is one millimeter so let's create this so go to modify select shell the face that you want to remove select this face here the inside the thickness one millimeters and direction inside press ok we made this okay and here to finish this we have a fillet here in this edge okay in this edge here the fillet is 0.5 millimeters of radius 
To make this, we can use the furround fillet. So go to modify, select the fillet. The type here, select furround fillet. And select this face here. And press OK. Go to inspect. Select this arc here. The radius 0.5 millimeters. OK. So here we finish our exercise. So thanks for watching, subscribe my channel for more and see you in the next video. Bye bye.